From the 700 WLW Newsroom, here's Brian Combs. Big stories you're talking about on the big one today. Hurricane Irene heading towards the U.S. First hurricane that would hit in three years if it does make landfall sometime this weekend. Concern over all the rain that's going to be brought with it from Irene is forcing the Reds to play a doubleheader in Florida today. They want to get out before the storm hits, so there'll be two games today. The first one, airtime 305 on 700 WLW. That game that starts around 4 o'clock will be followed by another one, 20 minute break in between, that's all. So the Reds will be playing baseball pretty much all afternoon and all evening on the big one because of that storm. Hurricane at this point looks like it's gonna hit the Outer Banks of Carolina, probably overnight Saturday into Sunday. You can go to our main news page here at 700 WLW and follow the storm track right through the weekend. It's happened again. Cincinnati police had a gun pulled on them, this time on Short Vine near Glendora in Coryville. Happened last night, since ICE police chief says that his officers are not going to tolerate it. One shot was fired at the suspect who got away. Delmar Bird, who's 23 years old, was captured a short time later by officers. He wasn't injured. He's facing charges. There have been four times this month alone that police have fired their weapons in self-defense. Usually, there's only four to six cases of that all year in Cincinnati. Rules could be changing for union leaders in Cincinnati who have public employee unions because of all the controversy that followed the arrest of Diana Fry for ripping off code. Cincinnati City Manager now recommending that union bosses be paid by their unions and work on their own time. No longer, Milton Dahoney says, should union bosses get paid by the city to do labor work like negotiating a new contract. Has to go to Cincinnati City Council for approval. Looks like Butler Countyans may find it a little tougher to vote in November. Usually they have about 140 polling places. That number is now being reduced to just 100. It's a cost-saving move that should save the county about $15,000 per election. Rewards been up now to $5,000 for information on the disappearance of Caitlin Markham. She's a 22-year-old Fairfield woman who disappeared 11 days ago without a trace. Police say the longer that she is gone without any sign of what's happened her, the worse they fear the outcome. At this point, if you have any information, you're being asked to call Crime Stoppers at 352-3040. Information that leads to discovering what happened to her qualifies you for a $5,000 reward.